Not sure how good my light is, but I've got a flathead catfish here. And this is the, the air bladder, or the lungs. And this is the part we're going to uh, take some of these out and dry them and see if they work. Kind of like a sturgeon uh, air bladder. So we're going to use them and see if they see if they work for glue. Well, here's the catfish air bladders that I've dried out. Uh, some of these are from flathead catfish and some are from gaff topsail catfish. But both both catfish so we'll give it a give it a try. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chop these up real fine and then we'll put them in the water and start cooking them. Here's our chopped up air bladders, our catfish air bladders. So we're going to go ahead and put some water on these and start soaking them. And then uh, we're not going to boil them, we're just going to simmer them. We're going to simmer them as long as it takes to maximize uh, uh, everything out of this. Hopefully it should just disintegrate all down, have nothing left but uh, glue. So we'll start on that. Here's that. We soaked the air bladders overnight, or I guess about 10 hours, and they've doubled in size. So at this point we're ready to put them on the stove and start cooking them for quite a while. It's been simming for about an hour now. Starting to look pretty good. I don't know if that'll even show up. But not boiling, just just a, a slight simmer. We're going to probably try and cook this for about uh, 8 or 10 hours. And it'll reduce down quite a bit. And then we'll strain it. And then uh, lay it out and on a flat tray and uh, dry it. It's about three hours into it. We're uh, definitely at the a good sticky stage now. It's actually condensed down. We're about uh, an inch or so down below uh, the level that we were at. So it's coming along nice. I went ahead and uh, strained out my fish bladders. And I've got a little uh, food processor. I put just the uh, fish bladders in it and ground them up nice. And they already simmered enough that they chopped up real nice. And, and uh, I put them back in my in my water here, and if you can, there's still a few finer, uh, larger pieces in there, but it's chopped it up pretty good. Yeah, it steamed it over. But anyway, that'll help get the glue to come out. Actually, it's already uh, getting pretty sticky. You can take a, some of it here. That's and it's. Got a little stick to it already, so we'll let it keep keep cooking. It's been simmering about six hours now. We're going to go ahead and strain it. I've got just a rag here in the strainer. That we're going to run it through. We'll uh, strain this, and then we'll put it back in and let it uh, reduce some more. And finish up the second straining. I did a rough straining with just the uh, metal filter, and now I'm using the coffee filter and getting all the fine stuff. And all we got left is the real clear glue, and it's still simmering. So we'll finish. Uh, this got a little bit left in here. We'll finish uh, straining this, and we'll let it simmer for a couple more hours. All right, it's been uh, eight hours. And we've got it reduced down. There's not a lot left. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, just put it in a pan, and we'll start uh, start drying it out. Let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, we're just sticking it in the oven now. Put it on as low as you can as you can get it, and we're just going to let that dry out. Like I said, we're going to take it so it's a it's kind of a tacky stage, and then we'll cut it in smaller pieces. That way, it'll dry faster. All right, the glue's uh, dried enough now. I'm just cutting it into uh, smaller pieces, 
and then laying it on the, a grate and we'll let it finish drying so there's a few pieces I got on there and we'll finish cutting this up and, and we'll just let it dry till it's uh, good and hard there's our finished glue it's a uh, totally dry Oops. it turned out to be a real nice good clear good clear glue but uh, and we'll just stack it away until we're ready to ready to use it. And to to rehydrate this, all you do is soak it in soak it in water, and then add enough water, heat it up, and add enough water to it to get to the stickiness that you want. And then, then it'll be you'll be ready to use. So anyway, uh, next time you get a good mess of catfish hang out of those air bladders because they make good glue. So. Here I've wetted some of it just to kind of show you how good and sticky the glue is. I mean it's it works pretty good. So it's a good good fish glue. Hopefully this will be a good tutorial on how to make a good sizing glue uh, for putting sinew on the back of a bow. Fixed it, Matt, please. I don't want to lose it. Here we go. Cat. Oh, nice. Top to have cat. Uh, he was hoping for a trout, but we didn't get a trout. He's gonna have to settle for that. All right, next fish. Thank <laughs> you.